John Here. Paul continues his pursuit of Mario. Terrible, unfortunate thing for little Al. So close to the end of the race to get knocked out like that. The white flag. Nick Bonaro, the starter, shows it to the leader. Mario Andretti and the John Paul Jr. in second place. A little less than a mile now if John Paul Jr. is to get past Mario Andretti. I don't think so, Paul. He's losing ground, but by the same token, remember, the mechanical difficulties could happen any time. It's happened to me many times, and it could happen to Mario. Mario Andretti now with slower cars in front of him between he and the checkered flag as Andretti comes alongside Steve Chassis. Chassis doesn't see him, but Andretti gets past. Chassis almost turned into him. Now John Paul Jr. comes off the corner, but Mario Andretti wins the Las Vegas 200. John Paul Jr. comes across the line in second place, and that Budweiser crew begins a celebration as Carl Haas, the owner, begins throwing kisses to everybody. Now oh, Mario Andretti, he's been ever so careful. Double clutching every shift up and down, taking ever so much care of this race car. A turn to the right, off of the seaside wave stretch, the 10th turn, the crowd already going for good with a victory for Andretti. His second here in Long Beach. He heads to the international hairpin. Listen to the crowd. Andretti accelerates off that last turn. There's the second flag for Mario Andretti. 55,000 people cheer for Andretti, his first part victory at Long Beach. Well, Paul, I tell you, there's mayhem down in the pits of Mario Andretti right now. Of course, they persevered. They worked so hard last year with a brand new race car. They went home and built a new one this winter. They He's going to be coming around asking how his kid is. I bet he's really worried right now. He'll come around and see that. The white flag out for Mario Andretti. Just one lap to go. There he gets his first glimpse of his son Michael's car against the wall. He looks over there. I'm sure that Michael made every effort to be oh, I, visible yes, as he came I'm by. Sure he did. He, he probably was out of our shot and he was waving because uh, that would be excruciating. So Mario Andretti, certainly a lot of worry, closes up behind Al Holbert. Less than a lap to go now. A race that we thought would see rain the entire way. The course dry just before the start. Mario Andretti started on the pole. It was his 11th road course pole. This has been one of the most interesting races I've seen in a long time, Paul, because of the, the type of track, the rain, the racing that we've seen. It's really been good today. There's the crew, Maggie Smith and everyone. They're not going to celebrate yet. There's still quite a few uh, turns to go. Mario has the command, though. He's in charge. Car number three, that Budweiser Lola. Turn number 11, a sweeper back to the left. Now he can see the checkered yeah, flag ahead of him. Here. Nick he Bonoro has it. Mario Andretti flashes past, and Mario Andretti wins the first race at the Meadowlands. And look at the crew now. They've got it. No more worry. Daryl Sapi takes off his headphones. He doesn't have to worry about it. And the pit board out to Mario Andretti states it all. Andretti still out in front. Andretti continues to lead the 500 as we are watching the white flag comes out for Mario Andretti. Now Sneva closes up. This is where it's held. Scotty Brayton is right in front of Andretti. Andretti closes down on top of Sneva, shuts the door on him. Scotty Brayton surely knows that the leaders are coming behind him. Less than two miles to go now. Now just that one mile to go down the back stretch. Here is Andretti. This is where the race was decided last year. What will happen here in 84? Andretti down through turn three. Through turn three, through turn four. Snavis trying him on the inside. An accident on the back stretch. A accident on the back stretch. As they come to the line, they'll see the yellow flag and the checkered flag. And Mario Andretti appears to win the race. But boy, it was close. It was close with an accident on the back stretch at the same time. Similar to last year. That was Pancho Carter flipping down the back stretch. Andretti's crew says they did it. There is Carter's car. A tremendous run for Carter. He was running up in third and fourth, and then an accident as the checker yeah, comes out. Boy, I'm doing the two sports and his people putting together quite a fine stable of cars. And the white flag comes out for Mario Andretti. He has four miles to go, one trip around this Road America course, and he'll win the Provimi Beal 200. We already thank the technical crew of ESPN for the performance this weekend. There are some other people we would like to thank. Our helicopter shots that you have seen throughout the uh, telecast, provided by pilot Don Warner. Also, we'd like to thank the Probimi Veal people, Ott Grunenfeld and his public relations people who have treated us extremely well this weekend, and uh, Dick Miller, of course, the public relations director for Probimi Veal.
and the general manager of this racetrack, Tom Watson, who has also provided us some uh, very, very nice things this weekend. Thanks to all of you. We have had a great time here in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Del Mario taking a little wide coming through turn number four. Now he's in the hurry downs area, going downhill, kind of snaking toward the uh, carousel coming up, which will be one of the, which is one of the fastest corners on this racetrack. Mario Andretti will win his second race in a row and his fourth this year. He was the winner in the very first race at Long Beach, also won at the Meadowlands on the road course, and also won at the Michigan 500 just a couple of weeks ago. This will be his fourth victory of the season and will indeed move him into the points uh, lead over Tom Sneven. By the way, uh, Andretti is the defending champion of this race, so it'll be two in a row here at Road America. And it will be the first time since 1969, the year in which he won the Indianapolis 500, that Mario Andretti has been the points leader at the mid-season point of the points trail. Almost hard to imagine that a man with such skills who has done so many great things behind the wheel of a race car, this is the first time he has led the points this late in the season since 1969. Here he comes for checker, Bob. Mario Andretti from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, moves uphill, goes under the bridge, and takes the checkered flag as the winner of the Provimi Veal 200. Mario Andretti has won. Bobby Rahal will finish in second position. Mario has the hand waved and raised already, waving to the crowd. Into turn number one, Andretti has won again on the PPG Indy Car Trail. Right out of the carousel, yes. I guess I pushed him around a little too soon. Turn 15, turn 16, the road on the right is the entrance to the pit uphill. Here's the start finish line, the white flag from Nick Bonaro as Andretti begins his last lap here at the Mid Ohio Sports Car Court. He is looking for victory in the Escort Radar Warning 200. The pit crew can see they're all copy the crew chief. Boy, they're really uptight about this one, aren't they? <laughs> Boy, when things go well, after you've worked all year, all month, or all week, it's a good feeling. You know, it's about this time in the car that Mario Andretti, I'm sure, is hearing little noises and wondering, he's just got one lap to go, and I'm sure that he's hearing all the little innuendos and noises in the car. Does that really happen? I'll tell you, Larry, it happens. You think a guy like Mario, with all those wins, he's won in sprint cars, he's won in dirt cars, winner of the Hoosier 100, He's won races at the High Bank Half Mile Dirt at Eldora, Grand Prix, Formula One wins. He's won in midgets. All those years of experience, stock cars, he won the Daytona 500. They can go away. You would think it, but I know Mario can tell you, he still hears them each and every time around the track. And it's interesting because it's important also to drive just as hard on the last lap as you have on all other 83 laps because if you start to slow down, you might make a mistake then. That's what you have to be careful of. Stay in your rhythm. You can see the great support that this Nazareth, Pennsylvania driver originally out of Trieste, Italy. Long time ago, he and the family migrated to Nazareth, Pennsylvania, and the people here in Ohio and Central Ohio are supporting this man. Checkered flag out, and Andretti and the Lola have won again the sixth win in a row for the Lola chassis and the seventh in the last eight races, and Andretti leads the league with five victories. To stop and great overnight. Maybe Rutherford would have won this race going away. They're coming down for the finish. At very slow speed, Mario Andretti is going to raise his hand in victory, we assume, as the double checkers are displayed. And he does salute to the crowd. So does Tom Steva in second position. But it uh, certainly was not the finish that we had hoped. I think that Steva's salute had more practicality than Mario's. I think he was actually flipping up the visor on the helmet. <laughs> but a big disappointment for Tom, particularly because he is the one chasing Mario yes. in point. Andretti in turn 11 has to head for the pitch now. On this, the white flag left. But look at Andretti. Andretti stays out. The white flag given to Andretti. One left to go, but the crew wanted him in. Does he have enough fuel? There's Danny Sullivan as he's charging as well. Can Andretti make it around? Well, we've seen more gambling and flipping the coins here today than I've seen in a many a race. He's going for broke all the way. This is in Long Beach. This is Las Vegas. Emerson Fittipaldi comes in on the last lap. Can Mario Andretti keep it running? Paul Newman is holding his breath. Andretti coming into the hairpin turn on to the straightaway. Can he make it to the finish line now? Al Unser Jr. and Sr. just in front of him. Andretti's done it! Jubilation, of course.
worse than the Andretti pits. Paul Newman, Carl Haas. Somebody looked like they even had a bottle of champagne down here. We saw something fly. This crew is as happy now as when they won the national championship at the end of the Early stop clock was timing well in the top ten. He may have been the fifth or sixth fastest when he crashed out. Don Whittington was here, didn't make it. Del Coyne, Ralph Boisel, Bill Whittington was the other driver. White flag lap coming up. 199 complete. Mario Andretti moves out of turn number two down the back stretch. It'll be a clean sweep for him if he can pull off the win here. He has led the most laps. He has qualified on the pole and he has led every lap of this 200 lap race here at Milwaukee. He comes off of corner number four. Mario Andretti once wins the American 200 from State Fair Park in Milwaukee. Stop number three on the PPG IndyCar World Series for 1985. They're coming along. You can be sure he doesn't want to have to drive this pace car again this year. Let's go back up to the tower. There's the white flag coming out from Mario Andretti. He has 1.9 miles to go and this Portland 200 will be his. His interval over Allenzer Jr. is 24 seconds. The Bruno Giacomelli car has already stalled off, off the course, actually, out of fuel. He'll be passed, there he passed by it just there in turn number one. Mario Andretti headed for turn number two now. Coming toward turn number three, this is the final course for Mario Andretti. Among the active IndyCar drivers, Mario Allen, who we told you earlier, Rick Muir, to whom Gary just spoke, Bobby Rahal, Gordon John Cocktail, Bobby, these are the only people who have ever won IndyCar races on road courses. Believe it or not, Johnny Rutherford, Danny Andias, and Danny Sullivan are also other road course winners in IndyCar racing. And of course, Al Unser Jr. a year ago right here at Portland. Looks like he is destined to finish second to that man right there, number one, Mario Andretti. And Mario Andretti now breaking in turn number nine, coming out of it, accelerating down the main straightaway. And Mario Andretti has won the Strohs G.I. Joe's 200 from Portland International Raceway. And the crew and the car owner, Paul Newman, celebrating with a Michael cheer Andretti for off of corner number nine. He's on the main straightaway. And the white flag is showing he only has one more lap to go. Less than two miles and this race will be over. Let's see if that car has enough fuel to go the distance. His wife looks toward the heavens and says a moment of prayer, hoping that her husband does have the fuel that will put him in victory lane for the second consecutive IndyCar race. Last week, a dominant winner at Milwaukee on the Mile Oval. A completely different kind of racetrack here this afternoon in Portland, Oregon. But he still has the lead. He's rounding corner number three now, heading slightly uphill into corner number five. The gap when he passed our booth was 2.9 seconds, so he is very, very conservative. Mario is catching him at the rate of two seconds a lap. He is on the backstretch on his final lap. This normally would be the second fastest portion of the racetrack, but Mark Michael Andretti is not going as fast this time as he has in previous laps. It appears as if he is going to make it. He's in corner number nine, the final corner on the racetrack. He comes off the ninth corner. The car is a little slow coming off the corner. He's out of fuel. He is out of fuel, dropping to the inside. And here comes the finish line. Who's going to win it? I think it's... Un impossible to say at this point who won the race it looks like Mario unbelievable Michael ran out of fuel as the car came off the ninth corner he dropped to the inside Mario and little Al were coming quickly they pulled up and they finished literally side by side at the start finish line it appears as if Mario might have won but we're going to hold off any definite conclusion on that until we can study perhaps the videotape officially we have Mario as the winner Michael in second and Al Jr. in third and I think Michael's wife also thinks that he's lost it because she is in tears down the pit lane at the moment. Well it's perhaps the closest and best IndyCar finish in history. Let's go to Jack Aroon who was
close to victory from here. He's off of corner number three. Sets the car straight away down the long front stretch, and the checkered flag waves. Mario Andretti has won the Domino's Pizza 500 at Pocono. Kevin Kogan will unofficially finish in second position. Poncho Carter. Now we watch back for the hairpin. Here he is. Mario Andretti brings it onto the pit straight. And the white flag flies for Mario Andretti. Just one more lap to go. So Mario Andretti on his way to victory. Let's go down to his pits now and Gary. They're getting ready to celebrate down here. And what a time of celebration. Paul Newman recently got an Oscar. Carl Haas has got out a new victory cigar. And Mario Andretti's about to get a new trophy here at Long Beach. And Paul Newman and Mario Andretti all beginning to smell that color of money. And as Newman says, there's nothing that smells quite like it. This is the white flag for Allen Sir Jr., the second place car, as he acknowledges the white flag. And Mario Andretti reduces speed just a bit. All he has to do is bring this car around the circuit one more time. Not only will Mario have the victory, but the Ilmore Chevrolet racing engine will notch its first victory in its entire history. One year of development with the Penske team last year. Now they bring the engine to several other teams, most notably this one, Newman Haas, and it is performed here today. Two of those engines went by the wayside, but Mario's engine has not missed a beat. Mario Andretti makes his final left-hand turn, now pitches the car around ever so carefully, a final right-hand turn, a final burst of acceleration, and Mario Andretti has won the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Well, I can't think of anything better for him right now. Look at the car. Very smooth and very calculated. Paul Newman really is standing by this. He so much loves these motor racing. Well, it's an Oscar and an IndyCar win for Paul Newman. And there's Tyler Alexander. They are ready for him to stop. Tyler Alexander called no. Billy Camphausen over and said, can I have enough guys to push him? But apparently he's gone on by the pit entrance. He's going to stay out. White flag is falling for Mario Andretti. This is his final lap around. Does he have enough fuel to go the entire distance? Don't go away. Well, we commented after a second pit stop, David, that if they're calculating just right, they stopped after having gone 17 laps. There were 17 laps to go in the race. Now, Mario seems to have saved a significant amount of fuel the last three laps, so it should I, be a cakewalk. I think, I think that generally his last stint, the last 17 laps, will run at a less uh, fierce pace than that middle 17 anyway, so he should have saved quite a bit of fuel, and if he could do 17 laps for his second stop, he certainly should be able to do it. 18, on yeah. Stop, yeah. Now, we should be able to see his red light on at that location, and we did not, so I think he's probably got enough to go here. He better have. <laughs> yeah, Mario, Dale, yeah, Dale Point is still in the race. Yeah, through turn 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Shooting up and down the second and third gear. There is Jeff Brabham, the runner-up car. No fuel light there in the Honda-powered Lola of Jeff Brabham. He checks the mirrors coming down uh, past the speed trap. Jeff Brabham in one of the fastest parts of this racetrack. 175 mile an hour plus speed right there. Progress on Mario Andretti right now going around the carousel. Going past the very dangerous kink coming up here. It's a right-hander. He squeezes through. You see the skid marks. It's almost like looking at tail Bobby three years ago going out through the trees. Or oh, Davy Jones last year yeah. in the BMW CC prototype had a horrendous crash there. Now in Canada corner and uh, just a few more. It's one of the things about this track, of course, is so many tracks, if you get to this stage here, for instance, you're going to be able to coast home. But that's the one thing, of course, at Road America's Elkhart Lake that you absolutely cannot do because of a very steep hill that he's just about to climb. But it doesn't look as if he's going to have to be full power. Here he comes uphill. Mario Andretti raises both hands and takes the checkered flag to win the Livingwell Pro VB 200. Mario Andretti has a clean sweep here this weekend, picking up 22 PPG points and putting himself in fourth position in the point standings, just two behind Roberto Green. We have a small film, a plastic film, in front of the camera, and it automatically clears the camera lens every few seconds. The white flag, one more lap to go to Mario Andretti. The battle appears to be for second place. Mario, well out in front. He's ahead of him, can see his son. Michael, you are now riding with Michael currently in third. Can Michael catch that car in front 
of him. That is Roberto Guerrero, the winner of this race one year ago. He's got one lap to do it. This is his next to last chance. There's only one more turn after this. No, no way, I don't think. Mario Andretti comes for the checkered flag. There's the checkered. Mario Andretti wins it. His first win here in 11 years. The battle for second continues. Michael Mario Andretti has another lap to go, and the win will be his. Second and third, Ray Hall, followed very closely by Danny Sullivan. Sullivan, the pole sitter in the race, is running in third. Mario Andretti, meanwhile, streaks around that corner number five, the long, sweeping right-hander. Breaking now and heading for turn number five. There he is through number five, and here comes second and third, Ray Hall and Danny Sullivan. I think Ray Hall is going to be able to hold off the challenge, but if he does, well... I mean, we gave the co-drivers awards of to Mario Andretti and Bobby Rahal. Mario hit the wall. Sullivan got out, or rather, Rahal got out of shape twice in turn number three, and still these guys finished first and second. That's incredible. They have driven one whale of a race today. Sullivan is still moving in close now. There he is, right on Rahal's tail, coming off of turn 10. <laughs> it could be any way here. This is what a battle. Race. Battle to the checkered flag. This is where Sullivan is going to have to do it if he can. He closes in, but I don't believe he's going to be able to do it. They come through turns 11 and 12. Mario wins. Ray Hall second, and Danny Sullivan is third. A great IndyCar race at Cleveland. Tremendous race. Mario Andretti won Phoenix, the first race of the year. And at that time, it appeared as if it was going to be a Mario Andretti year. ...to go, and Mario Andretti will be on his way to victory number 52. Second on the all-time list to A.J. Foyt. 31 of his wins have come on ovals, and Mario Andretti has taken that white flag. Paul Newman watches. They hope for Mario Andretti. The dry spell may finally be over. Traffic just ahead of him. Ever so careful now as Mario Andretti can see the checkered flag just ahead. Twin checkered flags come out, and Mario Andretti in the Kmart Texaco Avalon Lola has taken the victory. What a weekend for Newman Haas Racing. An incredible time, and Paul Newman couldn't be happier. It just shows you never quit. You never can tell what's going to happen. There's a very special bond between Paul Newman and Mario Andretti of mutual respect.